Hey, and hi, hello, everyone. We are back with a Slay the Princess. You guys told me how to get certain ending, and now I'm curious. I thought I had left the princess and all the men, all the voices inside my head, or in the past. But no, 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 no. You guys want me to get this ending, so that is what we are doing. We're going to get some more endings. I'm very curious. This game is a delight, if I can say that, for the type of game this is. So let's load up. Oh, 23rd of July. That, that was nearly a month ago. You're on a path oh, in Jesus. the woods. I thought I had more time to talk to you guys, but we don't. It's a cabin. Yes. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh, we You're know. You're here to slay her. Mm-hmm. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. We don't know that. As for the, what are you talking about? Have you said that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world because she's locked up? Killing a princess. Can't someone else do it. Yeah. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with Annie? Do I get a ward? Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Straight, I'm always wanted. Turn around and leave. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what Don't to do. It. It's all yeah. part of the job. Oh, well done, narrator. <laughs> you make your way up short the short sweet. path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Okay. A warning before yeah. you go any further. Yeah. She will lie, she mm. will cheat, mm. and she will do everything in mm. her power to stop you from slaying mm. her. Don't yeah. believe a word she says. Mm -mm. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. Oh, hero. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. I know, honey. I know. Ignore him. He doesn't know oh. what he's talking about. Be rude. Proceed to the cabin. <laughs> That's how I walk through. It's up the path. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The Ooh. air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. Oh, Asler and Hay Fever. is a plain wooden table. Yeah. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Okay, we do have to take the blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay. Take the blade. You take the blade <clears> from <throat> the table. It would be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Mm, there's many other ways we could do it. Hear that? Hear the wind. Very interesting. Into the basement. <laughs> step, 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 step. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing mm -hmm. a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an Ew. oppressive place. The Was air that always feels there? heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slip her voice carries up the stairs. Yeah, no. Who's there? Oh, that's right. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Yeah, that's okay with me. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hi! Just checking in on your love. Hey, I think I'm here. Oh, let's 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 be the strong silent type. Good. You're still listening to reason. Yes. Still want to say hello, guys. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's hey, a heavy what chain around her wrist, binding her to the one far wrist. wall of the basement. Oh, there's another one there. She's so coldly beautiful. Hero, keep it in your pants. Is she really a threat to the world? Hero, keep it in your pants, friend. Focus on the task at Yes! Hand. Yes! And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? How do you respond to that? <clears throat> okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here. Nah, nah, -ah. <laughs> nah, -ah. I haven't decided yet. Ooh, let's make strong time. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal. Your <laughs> I'm resolve. so not confident in this role. Oh, no talking, then. Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? 
Oh, don't question my 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 thoughts, love. I got no clue. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to I use it. I will throw this at you, girl. So you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. <laughs> She's unarmed. Yeah. If you hesitate now, it'll yeah. be too late. No, no. This. No, no. We're not going to hesitate. Not this time. You guys have given me the confidence. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. <clears throat> you feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. Yeah. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Not messing around. YouTube does not want me to mess around. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Oh? Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Because mm -hmm. like I've got YouTube. She's convinced she can't die. <laughs> Hero, stop. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be nervous, alive guys. and well. I'm nervous. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped Ooh, breathing moments ago. The way ago. that music stops. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really <sighs> over? Just walk away. We've got to walk away. We've got to walk away. Wait, I can't. What? I'm not sure. I feel like she has to have some. Of course. Yes, exactly. It's over. I couldn't select any. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? We have stabbed a princess. <laughs> That's as bad as it could get, isn't that like treason? You did kill someone. Hmm. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. Yeah. But it was for the greater good. Hmm. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. And the hero and I get whisked off into the sunset holding hands. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Oh yeah, we're skipping out of here, guys. Hey. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Why is there Instead, hair? Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What? What happened? Why is there hair? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. What? You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. Whoa, 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 whoa. You promised me that I could get out of here. All right, huh? That's bullshit. Let me out here. Okay, I was kind of hoping to get a better ending for saving the world. Okay, we're going to do some saves coming. Yeah, we're just going to do some save. Hiccups. Ah, uh, that's bullshit. Let's go. What's done is done. And there's no going I back I will now. pull that knife out of her. This is what's best for everyone. Trust You're me. You're already tricked us. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years what? or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. What? You've never been happier. Psst. Hey. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? I don't want to. Didn't you get an arrow? I'm happy. We're happy. Hell no. Do you have any idea? Yeah, let's I go do. there. But you're probably not going to like it. Okay, lay it on me. Blade. Yes. We can use the blade to get out of this. Are we stabbing ourselves? I can hear everything you say. <laughs> There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on, 
and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. A dear hero? <laughs> oh, this is just so, it's such a dark, charming game. He's right. It's the only way out. Well, narrator, you're stuck with me. Hero, you're stuck with me. We, all of us want to get out. Do you hear that? Yes. It wants to take this happiness away from you. I'm it not wants happy this sitting in this room. place to end. We're not happy. We're in a room. Do you not? There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Ooh! Narrator! Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us, wouldn't I? Wouldn't we be dead? Anything to get out of this hell, you're right. I didn't like that idea. I'm just going to stick around and do nothing at least for a little while longer. Let's explore. Let's just test the walls. How astute. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you, and you shouldn't do it. Why, though? In a sense, we die. But looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's mm. nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just it's the horrible. same thing. Constantly. Forever. <gasps> I know this is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. That little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't <laughs> want you to be happy. The, the, the hero voice just was thinking with his pants. I very right about this. I'll be pretty upset if we die, die. If we die, die. I'm not risking death over your weird hunch. Anything to get out of, out of this hell, you're right. I didn't like that. I, let's... If we die, die, you can yell at me all you want. <laughs> Take it to hell, hero. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a it's good not enough happy. reward for saving the world? An it's eternity not. of bliss, you, you ingrate. Narrator. Narrator. Fine, whatever. For the oh. first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. You, you are being so... He's got his sassy pantaloons on. The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay Ooh. her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. Wow! Oh! You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Congratulations! <laughs> the end. Nice knowing you. Narrator. It's not the end. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path what? is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. Okay. Uh, oh, you bastard, you're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. Yeah, yes. My tricks? Yes! What on earth are you talking yes. about? Yes. Just met for the first time. No! If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. A hero, shut it. That's fine. It wasn't oh. very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist <laughs> that this has happened before, at least your heart's <laughs> in the right place. Yes. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother to do anything? Into the cabin. A warning. Before mm. you go any further. She will lie. She, she won't be a problem. She won't be a problem. Into the cabin. What's the cabin gonna look like? The interior of the cabin is cold. A soft odour of dirt permeating the air. Ooh. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. Ooh. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging Ooh. the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine that blade mirror. perched that on the edge. That mirror is so annoying. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Yeah. Like I've been saying, 
She's dead. We killed her already. Oh, that voice acting. You didn't say anything. Uh, approach. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. Uh, let's just ask about the mirror. Because there isn't a mirror. There's, there's definitely a mirror. Leave a mirror. There isn't. Who cares if there's a mirror? Let's just mm -hmm. go into the basement and find her body so we can be done with this. Uh, I care whether I'm being Remain silent I care about whether we're being lied to If he's willing to lie about someone as innocuous as a mirror What else could he be hiding from us? Ooh. I'm not lying to you I promise there isn't a mirror Really uh, Just Into the basement we're going for the mirror ending. The door to the basement Ooh. groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Ow. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you oh. breathe in the stale air. No! I've read a the book very like this! The itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably Ooh. be doing her a favor. Shiver. The room below is silent. Uh, Nobody's here. Naturally. Naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. <laughs> I love the hero. You dead? As you she descend dead. the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a mm -hmm. heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's definitely dead. She is dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of her head appears from underneath no. the floor. No! No! Guys, why? Why is there ghosts? No! Two deep set eyes stare up at you, uh, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. Uh, no! And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? I know! Why? It's turned into Phasmo. G -g -g ghost Hero, calm down. Oh. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? They can possess your body! Or is that more demons? Ghosts can do that, can't they? Or is that more demonic? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. Hiya! I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Uh, we're still besties, right, girlfriend? The oh! princess drifts across the room into your <gasps> orbit, gently <gasps> running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she <laughs> circles you. Oh, I got goosebumps. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless Ooh. yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing. Oh, I've got shivers! Skin. This is gross! So she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again. But she's a ghost. If she's we wanted kiss. to. Slay the princess? Slay the princess. Wait, this... Without a moment's hesitation, you lash out with your It's blade. gonna go straight through her because she's a ghost. It's like you're slashing at air. No matter how many times you stab at her, no matter how many angles you strike <gasps> from, all you manage to do is interrupt her form, the skin of your hand prickling with cold as it passes through, unable to find anything solid. Hmm. Hmm. You're adorable when you're confused. <laughs> Stop it! Stop. 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 Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job? Or what? Uh, well, narrator doesn't believe me, and we've got a new friend, and he thinks you were dead, you know. If I knew I'd have to talk to you again, I would have slain you. I wouldn't have slain you. I died too, and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? 
The sea. Oh my god, there's so more. So, so much more. Of course, I attack you. You're supposed to end the world. That's why I killed you last time. Slay the princess harder! We're gonna have to do a save, scum. I'm just. Yeah. You don't look dead, killer. No, I call me that! The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. Oh. And you don't feel dead either. No. Were you already dead? Are we she zombie? lets go and pulls away. Oh, she's so cute! Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. <clears throat> I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are, and a lot more interested in what you are. Yeah, that's a good, good thing to say. I've tried to leave on my own. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. Oh, the double echo is so good. I just want to go home. <gasps> oh! I'm so cold and alone here. We hug her? Yeah? But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. <clears throat> After all, you only. Oh shit, stop. The sudden voice change is what gets me. Absolutely not. Absolutely no. Is she asking if she can possess us? Yeah. Yep. Yep. She is. And I hope I don't need to explain <laughs> why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. <laughs> would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting thought? Mm. We could finally bring her face to face with him. I mm. wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. Oh! That is intriguing. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. <clears throat> what if I say no? This would be temporary. I feel like, hmm. What happens after you leave this place? I'll tell. <laughs> Great. The answer is no. Return. Yeah, let's do that sort And what? You just believed that? You killed me without giving it any thought? Oh no, we have experienced cool. many. Yeah, but I'm sorry. That's rich coming from her. Yeah. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. Mm. She's right, though, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Mm. Let's try not to let emotion get the better of her. Ooh, cold. It was wrong of me to believe that. How could you have ended the world? If all it took to kill you was a knife to the heart, but it didn't, because when we approached it, she grabbed us. Well, were you going to end the world? You didn't answer my question. Do you want to end the world? I'm not cold. I'm just... <laughs> oh, if that is the most truthful statement. I'm not cold. I'm just dumb. I'm just a big, dumb, stupid idiot. What was I but thinking? Oh, cut it out. You don't need to be so <laughs> Yes, I do. Oh, sure. Did that, Did that make you feel better? <laughs> A little bit. Yeah, it did, actually. <laughs> Shit, it was sounds disappointing. Should I grovel even more? What are you going to do if I help you get well? Were you going? You didn't answer my question. Do you want to end the world? The only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. It's still the only thing I want. Yeah, but why? What is your motive? Is it because you want... It does. 
We're not asking you. Yeah, We've be heard quiet. Your speech already. Yeah, sh- shut it. T- I really, really don't, don't know. know. I'm not lying to you. I promise. <clears throat> Guys, she's making a convincing argument. The world doesn't matter. All I remember is that I'm supposed to be there, there, not here. Where is the just supposed to be a part of it? It's its home, I don't think. But what does it mean for anything to end? I ended, but I also didn't. And you ended too. But here you are, and you don't, and you don't even look any different. I'm not so sure endings are real. Oh, stop! This is hurting my brain! Well, what are you gonna do if I help you get out of here? I don't know. Maybe I'll, Maybe I'll just fade away. I'm really able to rest once I'm free from my unfinished business. Maybe I'll find someone to haunt. Unfinished business? Maybe I'll haunt you. Oh! It's a tough question, asking someone what she's going to do with her life. Yeah, but not really! The princess leans in close and pauses. <gasps> the frigid air between oh. you stay and Especially when it's someone is dead. She pulls back with a playful giggle. <laughs> I love that sort of giggle, man. That haunting giggle. I don't think most living people could answer that, either. Does anyone actually know who they are or what they want? <clears throat> Hell no, girlfriend! <clears throat> Return, leave it at that. Well, where are you going? Let's... This is hard, man. You're doing not... Do you know why you came back? Stop playing the brain. You threatened me last time. I'm sorry, you killed... Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to say I'm some sort of sick... Because <laughs> I already did that and I went... <laughs> Let's do that Are one. Are putting this to a vote? Because personally, I prefer if we <laughs> didn't die again. <gasps> If that's what it comes down to, that's what it comes down to. Maybe we might I be the don't catalyst. See the point of offing ourselves just yet. Oh, that's sweet of you to offer, but killing yourself wouldn't help either of us. Okay. It would seem that everyone here is in agreement except for you. <laughs> I shouldn't Shut have up. to tell you that you shouldn't kill yourself. So please, try to keep your suicidal <laughs> tendencies in check. It was just an offer. Like I said, I just, I just want, want to go home. <clears throat> yeah, we did stop playing the victim. Well, yeah. Oh. I brought a knife with you. Oh, I'm I was sorry. I to just welcome you with open arms when you obviously had stabbing on the mind. Oh, I didn't tell you that. I just did it. That knife could have been for anything. It could have, but it wasn't. You can't blame me for threatening a would-be knife-wielding murderer. Especially when that would-be knife-wielding murderer became an actual knife-wielding murderer. Jesus. If I knew I had to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slayed you. I've given enough thought. Let's get you out of here. Okay, I've given enough thought. The answer's no, I can't. Okay. Fine, if I can't hurt you, then really there isn't anything for me to do here. I guess I'll get going. Let's try this one. This isn't a solution. Nobody wins here. Well, I don't care! You're... you're... Yeah, we're going. Oh, she's upset, isn't she? Yeah. You're abandoning me here? Yeah. It would seem so, yes. Yes. After everything you've done to me, you've chosen to do more? <laughs> the princess starts to float erratically from side to side, <clears throat> her cold exterior melting away. Oh. But if I just, just leave it be, then, then I'm really just going to be stuck here forever. Then if there's nothing to do, it's just going to go on and on and on and on, lonely and sad and hurting and empty. 
No, no, not that! Oh! She's about to try something. Get ready. Ah, I didn't bring my crucifix or my salt or my sage. I've come unprepared. The princess <gasps> passes through you, a chill rippling oh. along your skin, a disappointed sigh echoing in your ears. You turn and face her as she hovers between you and the stairs. I will push you over, Bish. Spectral tears streak down her cheeks as she places a translucent hand on your chest. It feels cold, but otherwise like uh, nothing uh, at all. Are we doing the right thing? Why do I feel so sad? She is making you feel sad. Don't let her get to you. It doesn't matter. Somehow, soon, this too will be over, and we'll move on to something new. I feel like you all keep forgetting that. That's true. Her dark-rimmed eyes fall to the floor as she speaks. No, we're not going to fall for it. I never wanted to have to hurt anybody. It's not the way I well, wanted to do Well, you have. You have hurt me so many times. The tears on her cheeks vanish. She lifts her head, sorrow replaced with wrath, uh, staring into you wrath. with fiery anger. Wrath. And I guess you've turned me into something worse. Oh, I did not! She forces her hand into your chest, and oh. then... Yes? Nothing happens. Oh. Are you sure about that? So, something should have happened. And yet it didn't. We're fine. I trust it. <clears throat> I'm not afraid of you. Stare at her in silence. No. You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next, but it is over <gasps> before you can fully conceptualize what it is. A horrific splintering, the squelching of organs, the rending of tissue, an icy, numbing pain. Oh no. I'm done asking. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owed, starting with your body. If you don't choose to give me my freedom, I'll just have to make you give it to me. I, I am yours? She's real now. If she's making us dead, we should return the favor. Slay the princess! You swing your blade towards her Slayer! bleeding corporeal throat. It connects. A gash <gasps> widens across her neck, glowing ectoplasm leaking. Oh, because we're blood. dying! But it's too little, too late. My heart! And you realize she clutches your still beating heart. That's my heart, my heart! Unsettlingly. Uh, oh. Did we get her? No! <gasps> Oh, friend, we are so... Even if we didn't, we've given her something to remember. See you soon, killer. I'm afraid you'll never oh. know. As she crushes your precious organ in her hand, everything goes dark, and you die. Oh, chapter three. <sighs> oh, my God. You're on a path in the woods. And here we go again. <laughs> hey, to slay her. Off to slay her. It's stacked, isn't it? Oh, we cheated! Her, we start again. She kills us as a goddamn ghost. We start again. I'm starting to think we're being run in circles just for the sake of it. Come on. Let's not give in to all that misery just yet. Mm. There's got to be a way out of this. There's got to be a right answer. Mm. Yeah. And what if there isn't? Aren't you listening to me? What if? All of this was rigged from the start. Yeah, I've I've got questions about now, right? It's ridiculous. Mm. There'd be no point in all this if it was just some kind of cosmic busy work. That's true. I think that's exactly what it is. The powers that be seeing how many ways they can screw with us. Could be it's all some kind of sick joke to them. It'd be kind of cool. Wouldn't that get? I don't know boring no but we are pure entertainment okay so you've already been here twice even great then let me poke a few holes in your depressing little theory <laughs> okay go right ahead now Nobody right here is screwing with you and i mm. can't imagine any scenario where you would have started over after slaying the princess oh well, wow you know well we didn't 
have to start over. We killed ourselves. <laughs> we killed ourselves. And why, pray tell, did you do <laughs> that? We were trying to impress the girl. Because you decided to foist an infinite tedium on us. Hmm. I like cold. That doesn't sound like me. It if is! If I had everything my way, you would have effortlessly slain the princess, saved the world, and been given your happy ending. The ending was the tedium. You locked us in a cabin and sent that cabin to an endless void. And then you told us we were happy. Thank you, Cold. Well, were you happy? No. Of course we weren't happy. That's <laughs> what we killed ourselves. It was awful. Yeah. It was boring. I agree. It was bullshit. Thank you, cheater. So you killed yourself? Yes, because we were bored. Yes. And then she killed us. Yeah, she did. Even though she was already dead. This is Thank all you. fake. All the voices are making sense. <sighs> okay, let's try to get back on track. You're real. The princess is real. The world is real. The people in the world are real. And the danger she poses to all of them is also, quite unfortunately, real. No! So whatever you did the first time, it sounds like it almost worked. So how about you give it one last try? because killing yourself seems to undo all the good you almost managed to accomplish. We didn't, though. Well, okay. All this standing around and talking is boring. Let's it at is. least do something. Maybe we'll kill her again. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll even free her. Free her! Okay, and why should we help you? All you got to do is lock us away forever. Are you the same now we met on the other loop? You were quick to accept that uh, before we've been killed by... Ooh, that one's a good one. Might as well do it now. We don't go... That's another option. Let's just... Are you the same? If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. Oh. That's a hedge, not a wager. Yeah. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. Okay. So, yes, <clears throat> I'm the same me. But ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Ooh. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. Ooh. They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah. And she finds a way out on her own. No, she won't, though. Ugh, of course she does. So, standing around out here is the same as us letting her out. Only we don't have to see her. That's got to be better, right? Yeah, boys. No, it's strictly worse. Why? But she can't kill us out here. Yeah. Why would staying out of killing distance be worse if she's getting out regardless? I kind of agree. Because it's cowardly, for starters. And because I the unknown am is yellow always bellied, worse than the sir. But really, all you're doing right now is weighing two considerably bad options. You're a bad option. The only solution worth considering is slaying her. And whatever delusion is holding you back from doing that is just that. A delusion. I'm not delulu. If you already managed mm -mm. to end her in some other world, the only reason you'd be here is that you somehow managed to do it wrong. You turn into a ghost, dude. More rules, more rhetoric. Since when is there a wrong way to slay her? I'm sick of it. Makes me want to end the world out of spite. Yeah, I kind of agree. We've we've killed her and been killed by her, and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going to fall through this loop forever, eventually we're going to have to let her out. Might as well do You're it now. A dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do oh, so forever. Oh, friend. This is not the first Those time. Those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Mm. Know that there is always a choice. 
Mm. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You mm. do have free will, as much as things will be easier if you didn't. Oh, you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. Yeah. Not convenient, everything always yeah. comes back to what you want us to do. I'm yeah. sick of him. Makes me want to end the world out of spite. On second thought, let's not kill him. Oh. Let's throw him someplace that never ends. I'd like to see what that does to him. Yes. <clears throat> Turn around and leave. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Oh! Tell you what, I won't do that. I promise. Do we believe him? Oh yeah, sure. sure. That changes yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, he did promise. But did he pinky promise? And you believed him? To the cabin. Continue down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of no. warning. You know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. The more he talks, the more I'm interested in setting her free. I do agree. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. I won't. Her out. See what I care. Fine. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. It does. I like cold. He's like. Definitely gnawing at something for me, for my, like, inner, inner jest. Are you trying to use reverse psychology to me? Or have you just There's given up? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially oh. with all these clowns offering up their <gasps> useless advice. Excuse me, they're my Honestly, besties. It seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes, Aww. I'm done trying to argue. Oh no, Would Raider. Look at that? We won. We did. Take it however you will. I will! Into the cabin. <sighs> the interior oh. of the cabin is long and dark, a single narrow hallway stretching far Excuse into the distance. Me? Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing wow. and joining and driving everything forward. What the heck? The only furniture of note is... Hmm. Yeah! That's strange. Wow! What's strange? Is it the mirror? Is it the mirror? You can see it? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Oh! Great! Something else has been taken away from us. I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Mm. There is a mirror at the end of this hallway and that right now we can't see behind it. What's there? What's behind it? If you're asking what's at the end of the hallway, it's the way to the basement. Okay. The way to the basement? Don't you mean door? Yeah. No, I didn't say door. Because there isn't a door, it's just an opening. Has she got an out? What are the odds she's waiting for us right behind it? If I were running a bullshit factory, <laughs> that's what I'd do. Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you. And certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. I'm gonna get jump scared. You can't see the mirror. The knife is gone. Defying his expectations. Who the hell is calling the shots here? Yeah. Nobody is calling the shots. That's how reality works. Ah, oh, this reality is just all fucked. You slowly make your way towards the gaping moor that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. I know, I was actually feeling like I was being watched. We've always been watched. You're watching us right now. Sometimes the feeling is just stronger than others. This is so creepy. I feel like you're trying to put us on edge. We don't need all this no. anticipation. We just need no, this to be over. I don't. If she's going to jump out, I'm going to scream. You stop oh, as you reach the end of the hallway. So I nervous. presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Don't, there's a mirror. Don't, don't gaslight me. Don't gaslight me. Here we go. <laughs> you reach 
shadow <laughs> forward into the pitch black of the opening. Fuck you, game. Nothing. <laughs> it's like this place read our mind just to mess with us. What you're looking at, killer? Staring into the void? Thinking about what it'd be like to die again? I know exactly how you feel. <gasps> oh, sorry. Shit. Where is she? I'm unarmed, boys! You feel something long and frigid oh. coil around your ankle. No, your no, heart no. skips a beat, mm -mm. standing in muted mm -mm. shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. Oh. The bones snap. Oh. Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse and you collapse with them. You're met with a terrifying <gasps> visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. No! But do you know how I feel? I gave you a path to forgiveness. I gave you a chance to make things right. But you decided it would be best to try and bury me all over again. <gasps> You're not getting another chance to mess this up. Okay. So, here's how this is going to go. Okay. I'm going to take your body. Okay. I'm going to walk it out of here. You broke my leg. And you, <gasps> you get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. <gasps> I say we let her do it. It's something different. I do agree. Do we even have a choice? No. You always have a choice. What's the choice, narrator? Maybe before, but not now. There isn't a blade this time. Mm -mm. Exactly. What choice is there if there isn't a blade? Mm. Well, unless you have any specific ideas, I think my vote's the only one that counts. Mm. Look, we're, we're even out. I killed you, and then you killed me. Water on the bridge, right? Never want to hurt you. I don't even know how I got here. I'm a victim in all this, too. Wouldn't you possess me? Kiss me, will make you no better than me. You don't have to be evil. Do you need to take my... Can't I just open the door for you? That's fine. I actually came here to... Yeah? And you think that's even? How adorable. Oh, it is. But I think you forgot about the part where you tried leaving me to a lot. If I were you, I would just want to get it over with. You lost your chance to call the shots. There's no going back to fix it now. You can either look on in horror or celebrate my freedom. But either way, you're about to become a passenger. Oh! Um... I'm a victim too. And sometimes victims become the same as their victimizers. Just because someone hurt you doesn't mean you get a free pass. You should be grateful that I still have a use for you. Being mine is more than you deserve, really. Ooh. Enough talking. We'll have plenty of time for chit chat once this place is Oh, please stop doing that with my ankle. You remain pinned to the floor of the long hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Ooh. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Her torso <gasps> stretches until her face is practically touching yours, her neck cracking no, thank audibly you. as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top yeah. of her head? Okay. And crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Not like this. No. You don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. And whose fault is it there isn't a weapon here? Yes, narrator. Yours, I assume. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Whatever you did in those previous lives of yours, you really messed up. Ooh. Are you seriously trying to blame this on us? No, <laughs> we're just sitting here about to die arguing. Your vision fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. Oh, not my soul. I need that. Aye, aye. You're awake. 
eyes once again fixed on the <gasps> long hallway. Will your she vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. So cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. Yeah. Oh. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. There's another option, you know. Yeah. Oh, she can hear us. Don't help either of them. Flip the table. No. That gap where the mirror was. I don't think it goes anywhere. Let's throw ourselves into Ooh. the abyss. <laughs> Your body, oh. still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff, your body reduced to a marionette, pulled reluctantly along by your strings. Throw your body into the abyss. In a single moment of overwhelming willpower, you tear your body from the wall and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. Damn it. Make a bet! Capillaries burst and muscle fibers tear as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends, and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, but fortunately for you, the distance you have to cover is far shorter. Ooh. Enough is enough. I'm tired of us always losing. It's just a step away. We saved the world. You throw everything you have against her and manage for one <gasps> brief moment oh. to overpower the princess's hold on your body. But that moment was all you needed. Your foot slips a few inches, and you collapse forward. <gasps> the darkness swallows you up. Mm -hmm. Her thought slips through you, unheeded, as you fall, and fall, and fall. What an end. But at least it's ours. Yeah. An empire of frigid nothing. I don't think this qualifies as saving the world, but at least you didn't ruin it. <laughs> Yay! What happens now? Uh. Does it mean we, we actually... <gasps> Like, done a series of thinking. I want to know what he thinks happens now. Yeah, narrator. Oh, and why is why that? Why is that? You should pay it better. Oh, he left. <laughs> yeah. He's gone. But he left us. Is there, and you feel something, a mass a growth torn out of you. You and the princess look at each other for a short moment. What is happening to me? Oh, the handsies. She's been absorbed. But you don't answer her before she's gone and you feel a resistance underneath your feet once more. Memory she's return. Gone. Where did she go? Should we mm -hmm. try and find her? We need to leave. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know, Hero. Uh, it's just going to be okay. Trust me, we've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels yep. so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yeah, you die, friend. It's going to do something to us. I can feel it. Yeah. You don't need to comfort them. I do, because I feel bad. 
It's the air. It's not the end. Whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. I see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. It's the end for you, but not for me. I would have kept them in the dark if I were you. No. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. Mm. So you're the real puppet master here. Can't believe I tried ah, to help you. I'm not. Bye, friends. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need you need to see what's in it. <gasps> Decay! You're withered. Ooh, you find yourself in the long quiet once again. Say to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Approach here again. I am a growing chorus of contradiction, a mass of tides. All of me is changing. Yeah, I. <clears throat> it doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse, nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? I resent you hurting me. I just want it all to stop. Yes, you're torturing me. I just want it to all stop. It will, in time. But you still have a ways to go before we are done. Know that I okay. hold no malice for you. Okay. Uh, what do you think of this vessel? This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others. So she found it in herself. Oh. She will make for a driven heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Oh. <clears throat> you know what happens to the world, sweet Levi? What? Bring. Yeah, what do you. Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Do not worry. There are okay. no wrong answers. There are no wrong answers. Um... How many more vessels? We will know when we near our destiny. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. <sighs> when you die. Ba ba ba. Bring the wrath to her. What's the... You're on a path. Okay. In the woods. Hang on. And at the end. Hang on. What's up? I want to go here. Uh, wait, no. Um, we will go over this You're one. You're on a path. Shut up. I just want to do one thing. Yes. Um. Well, were you going to end the world? I don't know. I just wanted to leave. I still just want to leave. Okay. I grab no, all of them. You're not doing that. Oh. That's right. Don't you dare grab. <laughs> I Mine will. Is the only opinion that matters, and I'll never be disappointed in you. Oh, thank Don't you, Raider. Return and leave it to that. Okay. Stop playing the victim. I'm sorry I killed you last time. I shouldn't have done that. Too little, too late. She's not in a position to bargain with us. You don't have to do anything you don't uh -huh. want to. Uh. We don't have to do anything, but maybe we should. We did kill her. Wouldn't it be the moral thing to help her now that we have another chance? Mm. When a hero slays a monster, does he apologize to it? <laughs> I do. No. So don't try to make things right. She was going to end the world. Uh. You don't do any- uh. Okay, okay, here yes, we go. Yes, obviously things are strange. Yes, right yes, now, we've already told it's him. It's safe to say that you've seen something, something you shouldn't have seen. Whatever worlds you've hopped between, whatever versions of Oops. me you've met, none of that matters now. Finish how? We already did what you told us. And now she's, now a, she's a ghost. ghost. Yeah. have tried slaying her yet this time, though. And then what? And then you'll have saved the world. I think he's asking about what happens after we save yeah. the world. Yeah. 
if that's even still an option. Yeah. What do you mean, after? Yeah, once we kill her, do we go back to our normal life? You life? already know what we mean, don't you? So why don't you go ahead and tell us? Are you going to try and lock us away in a timeless void again? Ooh. Because I didn't much care for that. I love uh, the voice of the cold and voice acting. It is just, mmm. I'm not going to lock you anywhere. Oh? What an interesting choice of emphasis. <laughs> well, okay. Do you want me to kill myself to set someone else up? Because I already did that and it wouldn't be hard to do it again. If I knew I wound up having to talk to what it's late, it wouldn't. Um, after I killed you this cabin, I want to say teleport. It wasn't in the woods anywhere at time. Stop. I had to kill myself. You poor thing. That, that must have been, been so frightening for you. I feel like she's being sarcastic. You know, after everything we've been through, it's nice to see someone finally yeah. sympathize with us. It this does. whole thing's been an ordeal, hasn't it? It has, Hero. We've been going since July 8th. She doesn't mean it. Oh, it serves you right. I was pretty scared, scared too, when you stood there not saying a word with the knife clenched in your fist. But now you know how bad it hurts to get stabbed in the chest. It sounds like you got exactly what you were owed. I'm sorry! Okay, 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 uh... Okay, let's try this. Okay, team, I'm out of ideas. Thoughts? You could always try violence. It's worked for us so it far. It won't. She's a ghost. Thank you! Who says ghosts are immune to violence? <laughs> Mate! Common sense? Yeah. There's nothing common or sensible about common sense. Action and observation are the only things that matter. Fine. Then let me observe <laughs> that the acts of killing her and killing ourself haven't got us much of anywhere. We're still back in this cabin. We're still dealing with her. Only now she has a good reason to hate us. Yes! I suppose you have a point. Do you have any ideas then? I don't know. Maybe we do what she wants. Yeah. Maybe we let her possess us. And That's what I'm walk thinking. Out of here. We could. It would be something different. I like. She's different. just standing there and we're just like. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Absolutely not. If you walk her out of here, she's going to end the world. Huh? Is that really so bad? Yeah, because this world sucks ass. Yes. But those are the only options, aren't they? Violence, Violence or, or doing what yeah. she wants. Or just leaving her down here. Though ignoring a problem is really <laughs> a solution. <laughs> yes. We found that out. Uh, okay. Let the princess, okay, let's do this. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. Thanks for the body, killer. <sighs> what are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> Wait. How many times do I have to tell you? He better not be, be, you know, talking about all the times we've been through this time loop. See you soon. Bye! Ooh. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp Ooh. chill spreads across your body. Ooh. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very mm. soul. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? Oh, hero, we've committed to the biscuit. We did. I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. <laughs> the numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, Damn. your muscles twitching and convulsing uh, I hate that word, convulsing. Each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to uh. ripple across your body. Uh. 
You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Get up. You've still got a job to do. Okay! Good morning! Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? Is him. So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. Mm. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor? Are they also supposed to be you? Oh, because we're fractured! Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... Yeah, go on. Finish the thought. What are you? It's our mind. It's broken. I'm... a voice? I'm me, is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. Mm. That's all that matters. Do you have to deal with this annoying bickering all the time? <laughs> yes, yes. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices <laughs> in here too. There was a lot last episode. I'm clearly the same thing you are. Yeah, wait until, like, wh what were all the other guys? Hopefully they'll all go away once we leave this place. I don't know how you can tolerate all of this noise. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. Ooh, narrator? You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More Whoa, important. We're getting lower. So you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person. Ooh. That's rude. <laughs> I love this. I love this. I love this sass. You're kind of like me, actually. Oh. You're just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obvi because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows Ooh. that. Yeah. I'm setting the stage. <laughs> the room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish stupid. decision. Oh, shut up. Stop trying to manipulate everyone. Ooh. Or don't, actually. It doesn't really matter. Because you won't be around to do this for much longer. Ooh. I like her. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just, whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. <sighs> Slay the prince is just... <clears throat> oh, I think I can straighten... There's too much... I can't think straight. There's too much noise. Then don't think. Just move. Hey. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? Don't, don't. I guess we'll just have to see what happens when we leave. But if I'm stuck in here, I'll be making some renovations. It's too crowded. Oh, don't throw out Hero. I like him. Okay. We're gonna do... Um... This one. <clears throat> Leave the basement. Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral <laughs> form, so and done with, with us. the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. Okay. I'm Sorry. just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. Wait, what? I do. Oh, why? Wait, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Oh, no. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. Not this world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Yeah. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? Ooh. Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, <laughs> your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering okay. through the open door. Ooh. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving yes. this place. Yes, yes. It's because he can't stop me. Why do you think he sent you here? Wait, Mike. I hate to admit it, but she's not wrong. 
Oh, yeah, you're becoming best friends. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. Mm. And wine. <laughs> Damn cold, I love ya. This body wasn't made to hold <clears throat> you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. Drudge forward! You continue Ooh. slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards. They will jump back and we'll do the stabbing. Step. Finally! Finally! You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Mm. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. They hear some cold voice. Ah. Oh. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door groans open. You collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. Oh. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see. Oh, he's gone! Uh, yes? Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. So we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? Uh, We're still here. Yeah. Yeah, but. That thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some mm. world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or have we never been part of the world? I think we're in a little cut-off section, and her world, if they drag her out, ends the story. Alright, let's see if I'm stuck with you forever. But I'm fun! Oh, it's Uh, you feel lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. Guess I'm not. All's well that ends well, right? You lived up to your end of the bargain, so I'll live up to mine. Thanks. That's okay, darling. Don't mention it. I think this is where I'm meant to be. Huh? Oh. <gasps> Ooh, we gave the real princess up! The decision has already been made. We're broken. <laughs> All right then. Better this than ferrying her out of here. What do you think you're doing? I'm gonna play Stabberoonie. I'm gonna play Whack-A-Mole with my heart. Hear that? She's scared. No Ooh. point wasting more time. Do, do it. it. You lift the blade, then plunge uh. it deep into your guts. Pain spreads quickly guts? through your torso as you attempt to turn its edge up towards your heart. Oh, so we're just going to go stab and then drag up. Oh, no. What a way to go. No. Yes. The princess, her spirit bound to your prison of flesh as she had once been bound to the basement's prison of stone, cries out in agony yes. as you slice through organ and muscle. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Your skin roils and bucks as she violently pushes against it from the inside. Bits of her seep through, Ooh. white and glowing with ethereal light. But still the walls Ooh. of your prison hold. Is this really what you wanted? Do you hate me so much that you would kill yourself just to deny me freedom? Ah, oh, we've already experienced it, girlfriend. Yes, he would. Because he knows what's at stake, and he knows what will happen if you leave this place. Oh, now right, I said that. I'm not so sure about all of that. Don't be modest. You're a hero. Oh, what? Do you think I'm just going to stick around while you die? Hell no, I'm leaving. No! You can try if you want. But I think this is an end for all of us. Oh, shoot. Out, let me out, let me out, let me out! Mm -mm, girlfriend, you're going down with me. You're going down with this Titanic. The princess's form continues struggling to pull itself out of you. Oh. But the effort is in vain. Come join the Titanic, bish! You collapse to your knees. Your vision blurs, then starts to fade. Oh. That it? And then what happens? 
He's gone. I think he's gone. Just like everything else. Are we dead? I don't know. <sighs> no. I don't think so. This is different than it was last time. Ew, uh, Stabby's got blood on it. Oh, here she comes. As the voice in your head debates amongst themselves, Bomb the princess crawls from your body and into the vast nothing surrounding you. Do you think we're done? Mm -hmm. Do you? <clears throat> oh, they took her. I don't know, this might be still the same ending. There's nothing new. I will be here when it is time for us oh. to meet again. Okay. The hero and the princess. Oh, yay! Another. You're on a path. path in the woods. Okay, interesting. Interesting. We can save here. Yeah? Wow. Guys! Think we're done? If you want more ending, put in the comments below the endings that you want to see and maybe the path that we have to take, like like the first chapter go, okay, you've got to Look in the mirror. Oh no, that's not my second chapter. Like, don't grab the knife, but say this to her and do this and lay it out for me so I can experience it. Don't, you don't have to tell me what the ending is, but if you just lay it out for me, I, I will be surprised. So guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this journey of Slay the Princess. If you want to check it out, make sure you check out the link below. This game is nuts and beautiful and just, ah, oh, so good. But guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up because it helps the algorithm. Push it out, mate. Guys, push it out. And if you like me, remember to hit that subscribe button because it gives me the boost of confidence that I sorely need in this difficult time of slaying princesses. Well, my little voices in my head, I will catch you in the next video.